Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala's Linux Fundamentals video series. In this video, we are continuing a discussion on the basic Linux commands. Today, we would be discussing the commands head, tail, diff, and tar. This is part 6 of the video series. And uh, if you have not watched earlier videos, we strongly recommend you to watch the videos. Let's look into the first command. The first command is head. Head command allows you to view the first 10 lines of a text file. Now, 10 lines is the default uh, that goes in. We can also add uh, the number of lines that we want to view. So, we can have an option that lets us change the number of lines that will be shown in the cat command. So, head is similar to that of a cat command, whereas a cat would display the entire file whereas a head would only display by default the first 10 lines of the file. The head command is also used to output pipe data to the terminal. Now the syntax for this is head. We have some options and the name of the file. For instance, if you want to view the first 10 lines of note.txt located in the current directory, we just enter the word head space note.txt. Below are some options that we can add when we are using the head. So as we mentioned, if you want to change the number of lines that you want to see, uh, instead of 10, if you just want to see five lines, what I would do is enter head and hyphen n, the number of lines that I want to see and the name of the file. We can also have a flag called as C, which gives us a customized number of bytes of each file. We can also have hyphen Q, which so currently I'm logged into my virtual machine that is running on my virtual box environment. So uh, let's consider I'm in the directory slash home Ubuntu and uh, this is the current uh, list of files that I see. Let's try to see what's inside texting.txt and you will see that there are two lines that says main and this is test2. So let's try to add some more lines into this. So I'll say line three and then let's say line number 10 and 11. Now, if I do a cat for texting.txt, I should be getting the changes. Now, what has happened over here is uh, while doing the echo statement, what we did is we always send the output to texting.txt but what we should be doing instead is sending the echoed statement into that so we should be appending the file instead of sending in the out how do i change that how, how do we change that from happening so all i have to do is keep adding a new bracket before the file so what this would now do is keep adding files or keep adding lines into the system so if you would see that we are now appending multiple lines into this. Now if I have to if I have to look at texting.txt from scratch, this is how it would look like. What I can now do is just go in a VI editor, copy this entire thing, come into the insert mode and just enter this multiple times so that I get a lot of stuff. Now if I do if I do a cat on texting.txt you would see that I have already have a lot of lines over here. Now what the syntax for head says is head if I say texting.txt this should give me the output of the first 10 lines which is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so these are 10 first 10 lines of the file. Uh, if I only want to see the top three lines of the file texting.txt, this is how we would get the first three lines of the file. If you want to see more than 10 lines, you could always specify the number and this would give you the total output of the file. So this is the command head that can be used on various places. The most common place where we would use the head command is when checking the log files. So log files always contains a lot of lines and in order to view the first 10 or the 
first 20 lines of a log file we would use the head command to do so let's look at the next command the next command that we are looking into is tail the tail command displays the last 10 lines of a file so head by default displays the first 10 lines of the file tail displays the last 10 lines of a file it allows users to check whether a file has new data or or to read error messages basic syntax for the tail command is exactly the same as head we use tail with an option and name of the file if we have to read a specific number of lines we could always give hyphen n and then it would give us a list of all the lines let's look at the same example so i'm still in the same directory i'll do a cat for texting.txt and this is a huge list of lines what i could do is tail hyphen n if i just want to see the last two lines which should be line 47 line 47 i will do tail hyphen n give the number 2 and say texting.txt so this should display the last two lines of the file the next command that we would be discussing is diff diff is a short for difference the command diff compares two contents of a file line by line after analyzing them it will display the part that do not match the syntax for diff is very simple it is diff we have some options and then we provide both the files which have to be compared for example if you want to compare two files node.txt and node underscore update.txt what i would do is diff node.txt and note update.txt there are some additional options that can be added as flags when we are discussing this hyphen c displays the difference between the two files in a context form hyphen u displays the output without redundant information hyphen i makes the difference command case sensitive so let's look at a lab example of how this can be achieved again i have the same file texting.txt what i'll do is uh, create a copy of this file texting.txt into texting underscore update.txt and i'll say diff for texting.txt and texting underscore update.txt because these two files are identical i should not be able to see any difference being displayed over here now if i go into the texting update.txt file and if i if i keep adding some random stuff on some lines what would happen is this would now compare the same lines or the same two files and give us a difference of all the files that you see as you see in we have a major difference in the first and the second line of the file uh, we have some differences in 16 compared with 16th line we have some differences in the 13th line the 9th line the 5th line and so on and so forth so basically what it is saying is this, the first and the second line when compared to the first and the second line are different in texting.txt and texting underscore update dot txt how do i check that we just discussed head command so i can use the head command to see what are the first two lines here and what the first two lines are there in the system so you would see that yes these two lines are exactly different if i try to find the diff the head for the first three lines you would see that the third line over in both the files is exactly the same which is line number nine for this reason we have 1 comma 2 showing us a difference when compared to 1 comma 2 on the second file so this is how you would use the diff command in order to understand what's the difference what is the difference between multiple files in the system the next command that we would be discussing is tar the tar command archives multiple files into a tar file a common linux format similar to that of zip which we generally use in windows the basic command for tar is tar we should be providing some options and the archive file name and the directory which we have to be archived so the basic command for creating an archive would be tar hyphen cvf 
where nv is for verbose mode f is the name of the file that is new archive.tar and the directory which we have to tar we can also untar stuff that is extract all the files by using the flag hyphen x let's try to see this example let's try to see this with an example in the lab environment so i clear the screen i have multiple files over here and if i go into one folder back that is slash home i have the folder called as ubuntu what i can do is say tar cvf ubuntu backup dot tar and i would say ubuntu and this should create a tar for me now unfortunately i don't have the exact access to do so because there is one file called as terraform dot linux which is having a root permissions also the cp labs has a root permissions with it so let me switch over to the root user in this system i clear the screen i'm still in the linux folder that is ubuntu i'll now try to tar the folder saying as ubuntu user backup dot tar and would provide the folder name that is ubuntu now this would have created a tar file which should be displayed to us in a single minute now the tar has completed so let's try to see if we have a backup yes we have a backup let's try to see what is the size of the backup you would see that the backup size is 541 mb in size now what can we do with this backup let me go to the temp folder here i don't have anything else so what i'll do is i'll say rmf and rf star so this would actually delete all the files in folders if you don't know what rmf and rf is doing i will strongly recommend you to look over at part 4 of a video series wherein we discuss rm on a very detailed basis what i can do is copy the ubuntu underscore user backup folder from slash home directory into the temp directory this would take a fraction of second because this is 541 mb in size if i have to extract the file what i would be doing is tar x v f i'll say ubuntu user backup dot tar and hit enter and this would extract the entire folder into the temp directory so if i now look at the folder structure i would have the exact same files and folders which we had in slash home ubuntu in slash temp ubuntu so this is how we take backups of files and folders on the linux directory and ship them across to different servers individual folders are never copied and pasted over different servers we always take a backup of it the backup is in the form of a tar file and then we ship the tar file to a different location that's it for this video guys uh, i hope you like the content if you really like the video please like and share the video with as many people as possible if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you could get notifications for all the technical videos that we are posting thank you so much for watching keep having a great day